I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. I know I have been, and main reason why, our weather has been very nice here across the state line. Take a look at our current temperatures and dew, ports, dew points. 78 here in Rockford with a dew point of 65. Freeport, see a temperature of 76 with a dew point of 70. Freeport, you've kind of been a bit more on the heavier on the dew side. The reason being, well, you have corn and as corn matures and we get into the corn season, it sweats off releasing moisture. So that's why if you ever see us showing our temperatures and dew points, Freeport's almost always a little bit higher than the surrounding areas. But that doesn't mean tonight won't be any better as we continue in through our evening hours. Around 10 o'clock, looking at 69 degrees, where we see those clouds kind of build up just a little bit as we head in. But really, it's overall great night and it's still time to go down to the Ogle County Fair and it's going to be absolutely beautiful outside 78 76 degrees around 7 p.m. The gates don't close until around 10 o'clock, so there's still plenty of time to get in there, go on some rides, have some nice fried food. I know I love myself a good deep fried Twinkie as we continue tomorrow, though Ogle County Fair opens up around 730 and we have 75 degrees at noon and 76 at 4 p.m. We do see clouds start to kind of increase as we go along. And even though it's going to be cloudy during tomorrow, make sure you're still wearing plenty of sunscreen as some of our reporters and some of our fellow my coworkers at 23 News even got sunburnt today at the sand at the mud volleyball, even though it was really cloudy and overcast. But her humidity really kind of staying low as we continue through the remainder of our week, and it does increase with rain. Now we've been tracking rain and some strong to possibly severe thunderstorms this whole week for tomorrow. However, that threat's kind of subsided as we head into tomorrow morning. We do have a little bit of clearing in our cloud cover. A northeasterly winds keeping us on a bit on the cool side, but we'll notice clouds start to increase by the time we get towards the afternoon. And as we make our way towards the evening, well, we start to see some showers and maybe some thunderstorms roll into our area. Our threat for severe thunderstorms have dropped dramatically as we were watching a low pressure system, kind of depending on where that ended up. That was really going to make a big impact on if we're going to see severe weather or not. The storms over that we're going to see on Sunday in, into Monday morning. Well, these are just pretty much going to be just rainfall, not a whole lot of severe activity, at least for us here in the state line. Most of the severe weather is going to be in central to southern Illinois and especially in Indiana. But right now, tomorrow evening, we are just in the non-severe portion with a few sections in the marginal. But overall, we aren't really impressed with the showers and thunderstorms that we could potentially see tomorrow night. So that's why we've taken away our first alert icon on Sunday. But as we continue on through Monday, we'll have those showers and showers in the morning. See a high of 72 as those showers are going to keep us a lot cooler. But as you head towards the rest of the week, mid 80, lower 80s and maybe even a few upper 70s looking fantastic overall. It is. Yeah, <laughs> maybe try and you know, do something outside. And you mentioned med, mud volleyball. I did not yeah. get summer, but yeah, it was definitely difficult to try and get all the mud you know, out of my fingernails. I can imagine. And, yeah, it was <laughs> interesting, though. Yeah, coming up on the